there, Charles Barnum. How are you? It's me, Mrs. Post. We've come to the end of another amazing week of learning. Way to go. I am so proud of all of the work that you have done. So here's the deal. You guys have been doing such amazing work. We can't just let that go without being acknowledged. We have to be able to talk about that and shout it from the roof. So this is our version of that. So this week, we're going to start with Barnum shout outs. So we're gonna look through the different classrooms and teachers will share things of all of the great work that you're doing. And we'll pick a couple to spotlight at the end of each week. So if you're not in this week, don't you worry because I'm sure that you'll be chosen in one of the weeks to come. So instead of just sitting and listening to me chat, let's get started on some of the amazing things that we have been doing. As you know, we just celebrated Earth Day. And the things that you from Charles Barnum have been doing to celebrate Earth Day have been amazing. I've seen kids helping out and cleaning up outside. I've seen kids just going out to get fresh air and enjoying the sunshine. And I've seen you guys taking things around the house and making arts and crafts with recyclables. Amazing. Way to go, guys. And if you did something like this or something different for Earth Day, Thank you so much for taking the time to do it. I'm so proud of all of you. Okay, the month of April is Military Appreciation Month, right? And so what we do is we purple up for military kids. And so this is something that we've done every year in some way, shape or form. And it was a little different this year because we weren't at school. So if you look on the screen right here, this is a great poem that our friend Josh from Mr. Silvestri's room wrote for one of his assignments this week. And I thought it would be great to add here. In addition, we also made a great video with all of the, the photos that you guys sent. If you have not seen the video, for some reason you have not been able to see it, go to the main page of Charles Barnum and you will see it. Go ahead and click on it. It made my heart so happy to see all of your faces. I have to tell you, I think my family's getting a little sick of watching it because I have to keep going back to see all those faces I miss so much. So way to go, guys. Did you know that we have magicians and we have computer techs at our very own building? It's true. These are things and talents that I never knew that some of our kids had. But now, because we're doing things virtually, we've had the opportunity to express ourselves in different ways. And it's been amazing. So here's Isa, and she's a magician. So I'm gonna click on that first, and then you can see what she did. So go ahead and check this out. It takes a second to load. Wait one second. There we go. Yeah. Oops, let's go back a little bit. Watch this. Amazing. I can't do that. She's pretty talented. She had a whole video doing all of that. And it's just something she decided to share with her class. How could we not share that with all of you? And this is from Tyler. And he did this for a class in, I think it was in media and library. And if any of you guys have ever done Flappy Bird, he actually made his own version. Now I've been trying to practice and I am not good at this at all, but I have to have show it to you. So check this out. Okay, I'm not good at this at all. Don't laugh. Oh, see, I did not even get through the first one. I'm gonna keep practicing, Tyler, don't you worry. Amazing, guys, simply amazing. And the end of this week, we got to celebrate Miss Denise and Miss Hillary and Miss Linda, Miss Emma and Mr. Rose, and everyone else in Groton Public Schools. 
that is serving lunches and breakfasts and taking care of all of our families. And while we thank them for all of the things that they do every day when we're in school, oh my, the things that they've been doing for us when we've been out. They've been out there in the rain and in the cold and in the sunshine to make sure that anybody who needed it could drive up and get lunches and breakfasts and things for the weekend. So we sent out a Flipgrid to all of you. And do you know that we got over 70 responses from you? Mind blowing. So I just sent that video and that Flipgrid to them. I cannot wait to see what they think. And how great is it that we were able to show all of our Barnum love for them, even when we're not together. Well done. Well, so those are some amazing things that we have been doing throughout this week. And I am sure that next week is gonna bring even more. So before we go, there's one last thing I wanted to share with you. This is something that Mr. Schneider shared with us and Grant was very kind to let me share with all of you. So this is Grant practicing his drums with his dad on guitar and see if you recognize this song. How great was that? So with that, I will say, have a wonderful weekend. Can't wait to see all the amazing things you're gonna do next week. And I'll see you next Friday with another Spotlight. Bye guys, see you later.